Namaskar. My name is Rohan and today I'm going to tell you about the monuments of France. Introduction about France and its monuments. France features beautiful countrysides filled with monuments and other tourist attractions. Many visitors travel to France to visit the star-studded Rivera or explore its wooden poignards. A monument is a type of a structure that was explicitly created to commemorate a person or event, or which has become relevant to a social group as a part of the remembrance of historic times or cultural, cultural heritage due to its artistic, historical, political, technical, or architectural importance. There are many famous monuments, in fact, there are many famous French monuments. In fact, French monuments are among the most recognizable in the world. Monuments, especially from the period of Roman occupation, are numerous and include the amphitheater at Elise, the arenas in Paris, and the aqueduct at Ponte du Gard, French architecture. Travelers seeking to explore France's famous monuments find many in or near uh, Paris. Le Louvre. The museum is housed in the museum is housed in the Louvre Palace, originally built in the late 12th to 13th century under Philip II. The remnants of the medieval Louvre fortress are visible in the basement of the museum. During the French Revolution, the National Assembly decreed that the Louvre should be used as a museum to display the nation's masterpiece. The museum opened on 10 August 1793 with an exhibition of 537 paintings, the majority of the works being royal and confiscated to its property. This museum is also famous for the Mona Lisa. Les Invalides. Les Invalides is a complex of buildings in the seventh gardens of Paris, France. This it contains museums and monuments, all relating to the military history of France, as well as a hospital and a retirement room for war veterans. The buildings are super. The buildings house the Musée de l'Armée, the military museum of the Army of France, the Musée de Prince-Relief, and the Musée de History Contemporain. The complex also includes the former hospital temple, now National Cathedral of the French military. Palace of Versailles. The palace and the garden of Versailles near Paris are famous for the beauty and lavish designs. The palace was the royal residence till 1718, French Revolution. The palace is now a historical monument and UNESCO World Heritage Site. Notable especially for the ceremonial hall of mirrors, the jewel-like royal opera and the royal apartments. For the more intimate royal residences, the Grand Trion and Petit Trion, including located with the park, the small rustic home created for Marie Antoinette. Littoral. It was constructed by 1887 to 1889 as the entrance to the 1889 World's Fair. It has become a global culture icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited faced monument in the world. The tower is 324 meters tall, about the same height as an 18 one story building, and the tallest structure in Paris. Its base is square, measuring 125 meters on each side. During its construction, the Eiffel Tower surpassed the Washington Monument to become the tallest man made structure in the world. A little it held for a title it held for 41 years until the Chrysler building in New York was finished in 1930. Conclusion. Nevertheless, there are so many other monuments in France worth seeing. They're scattered over the entire country. The region of Normandy is often associated with World War II. And many people go to see the D-Day beaches where the World War took place. Thank you.